Oh, little kitty, good to see you solving the seven continents puzzle. But kitty confused. Don't worry, my dear. When Doctor Binox is here. Hey, friends! In today's episode, let us go around the world to explore the seven continents and learn what makes them unique, the culture, the key points, and most importantly, answer a five marks question: What are the seven continents of the world? When we look at a globe, it is not difficult to spot these large, solid areas of land. We call continents. They come in all shapes and sizes, from small to large, and the Earth has seven continents in total. They are Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Australia, and Antarctica. Although these continents are part of one world, but they all have different climatic conditions. Environment, population, and much more. So, let us have a brief look at what makes these continents so different from each other. Let's start with the largest continent of them all, Asia, covering one third of all the land on Earth. Yes, my dear friends, it is home to a whopping two thirds of the world's population, living in forty-eight countries. Among these are China and India. They hold the number one and number two spots for being the most populous countries in the world, with nearly one billion people each. Not only that, the world's highest mountain, Himalayas, as well as the highest plateau, the Tibetan Plateau, are located in the Asian continent. And it is surrounded by the Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. Next comes the second largest continent in the world, our very own Waka Waka Africa, that lies between the Atlantic and Indian Ocean. It consists of fifty-four different countries that are more than any other continents. It is blessed with the world's longest river. The Nile in the east, and the northern part is engulfed with the world's largest desert, the Sahara Desert. Not only that, but this continent is also home to many wild animals such as lions, elephants, zebras, rhinos, and much more. Next, let us visit the world's. Second smallest continent, and that is Europe. This place is home to one quarter of the total population in the world that stays in nearly fifty-one independent countries with various ethnic groups and languages. Europe's western coast is on the Atlantic Ocean, while it is divided from Africa by the Mediterranean Sea in the south. The European part of Russia covers more area than any other country, and the Vatican City is the smallest country not only in Europe but also in the world. Now let us move forward and visit the world's third largest continent, North America. North America is surrounded by the Arctic Ocean in the north, the Atlantic Ocean on the east. On the south, by the Caribbean Sea, and on the west, by the North Pacific Ocean, it is made of 23 different countries. Some of which are the USA, Canada, Mexico, as well as the Caribbean islands. This beautiful place is blessed with natural wonders such as Yellowstone National Park and the Grand Canyon, the human-made Panama Canal. Separates North America from our next continent, South America. South America is the world's fourth largest continent, bordered on the west by the Pacific Ocean and on the north and east by the Atlantic Ocean. North America and the Caribbean Sea lie to the northwest, 
It consists of 12 sovereign states and some of them are famous for their soccer teams such as Brazil, Colombia and Argentina. It is also blessed with the Amazon River, rainforest, the world's driest desert, the Atacama and the world's longest mountain range, the Andes. It is also home to many unique animals such as capybara, llamas and anacondas. Next comes a continent which is also a country and that is Australia. And when you add New Zealand, New Guinea and a few other islands to it, we also call this continent Australasia. Australia lies between the Indian Ocean in the west and the Pacific in the east. Some of the famous places in this region are the Opera House in Sydney, Great Barrier Reef, Queensland, Great Ocean Road, Victoria and much, much more. And last, let us visit the South Pole of the Earth to see the fifth largest continent of the world, Antarctica, which is surrounded by the Southern Ocean. This place is almost entirely covered in ice and the temperature can drop below minus 80 degrees Celsius. But despite such cold weather, this great white continent is home to many species such as seals, seabirds and many more. Trivia time! Did you know sometimes people think of Europe and Asia as a single continent and call it Eurasia? Also, India and many other regions around it like Pakistan, Bhutan, Nepal, Bangladesh, Maldives and Sri Lanka makes the Indian subcontinent. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind.